our second attempt at a finish of the Daytona 500. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will get a push from Joey Logano in the 22. Kyle Larson on the bottom with Christopher Bell also pushing him. Kyle Busch kind of holding back just a little bit, as well as the 16 of A.J. Allmendinger into turns three and four. Not as many cars down on the bottom coordinated enough together. Bubba Wallace in the top 10, giving Alex Bowman a push on the outside lane. They'll stay in line behind the eight of Kyle Busch. Now Bowman to push the eight car. Bush has a run on the back of the 22 of Joey Logano. He's going to push the 22. 47, still clear into turns three and four. Logano has pushed Stenhouse all the way into the middle of the corner. Now let's go. Still has Kyle Larson to the inside of Joey Logano. Off the exit of turn four. Bubba Wall's going to push the eight into the 22 of Logano. Logano trying to hang on to it. Now he gets a push to the outside of Stenhouse. Looking for the lead. Larson going up the middle three wide. And Stenhouse is down on the bottom. It's the final lap of the 500. Logano on the outside. Stenhouse down low. Turn hard in the wall goes Kyle Larson as well as Keselowski. Pastrana got turned in the middle of the pack. And I believe Joey Logano is going to win the Daytona 500. My pick has won it. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has won the Daytona 500. But it looks as if Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has just won the 65th running of the Daytona 500.